Hey, what's going on, guys? This is Fritz, and this is a commentary of our round 142 four player Dead Ops arcade game. Uh, unfortunately, we did get invisible monkeys on the uh, 117 through 120. So, basically, what we had to do is set up so that we had the same amount of lives and armory going into the 120 boss that we came out of 116 which would be this arena with so as you can see you know we were just in the corner together three of us one person running around typical strategy and we were still doing that at 100 up to 116 before we go into the next arena so you know you get an idea of what our lives and our armory looking like not too bad uh, but still holding the corner down four players never been done before what are you doing so here we go into the Get over there, George. 120 boss round. All that is George, okay? I'm going. You fucker. Okay. Great. So, Good I think you way. should be able to hear <laughs> George right there <laughs> kind of yelling at me, but he walked into the pole. It was his own fault. I had nothing Fritz, to do with it. Get those two, George. Just take one with What you. our plan is take is basically Let him try and get uh, George was what, supposed what to it? try to take the first monkey and then I was going to take the next two when what we wanted to do is have firepower do really this, hammer that very right. first monkey to try to get him to die quickly. I'll take the next two just to keep them off friendship or sorry uh, fortune and feet so that they kind of just basically wait for us to steal their lives so they get the vehicles you know obviously fortune get the vehicles so they last longer but feet can stay alive the easiest so you know as long as one of those two gets the vehicles you know that we figure that's kind of the best situation meanwhile we have all of the firepower of the bird and, and the death machine and whatnot going on the monkeys trying to kill them quicker So, pretty hectic, pretty crazy. Um, Fuck! You sure? Yeah. But, you know, George doing a pretty good job trying to train monkeys. Give me a Beast and uh, uh, Mercury Scopes, or in this oh, game, yeah. uh, he had some goofy cr account he just created. But they're doing a pretty good job staying alive and just kind of waiting for us to to give them the vehicles. Oh, yeah. I got, how many fucking birds do I got? Like, eight, I'm done. <laughs> Give me oh, more uh, fucking Beast complaining because all he's getting is sprints and not getting too many vehicles during this round. Damn but here. this has never been oh, fuck, man. Oh, beaten no. with four players before, so that was kind of our goal in this game is to it's beat 120 with four players. We really wanted to make it to 160, but we ran out of time and we had to suicide at 142 because Monkey Beast had to leave and head back to college. Didn't have time to finish the game, and he was the host, so he couldn't just oh, back whatever. out. Whatever, you're furious. Okay. Oh, okay. So Don't there's shoot. the Don't first shoot. monkey dead. I got a life and shit. I'm crushing. Which him. once one monkey's dead, it makes it a lot easier. Okay. We still got a couple oh, lives. Alarm is getting, getting right. fairly low for most of us. Oh no, he clipped me. It's all good. Fucker. Don't worry, let's just don't die. Wanna grab him real quick? Yeah, no. I'm really close to coming back. So no, you saw you I just shoot. died, but George is about to come back in, killed the second monkey, trying to grab the gems as quick as possible so that we don't G-spawn, because that can happen even on 120. So, Beast and Mercury Scope, also known as Furious Feet on Fire, have uh, yeah. Yeah, nine times right now. We're letting all the gems disappear before we start shooting this monkey. Because we don't want him to die while those monkeys are still out on the map because that'll essentially be a guaranteed G-spawn. So as soon as those start, uh, they, they disappear, you'll see, you know, they're about gone. And now they're gone, and now they're shooting again. So it's kind of safe, you know, we don't have to worry about G-spawning. You know, basically, if we've got to die to prevent the... Um, you know, the yeah, G-spawn, then we're willing to do that, no time. matter if there's a nine times, nine even if people lives. have zero lives. lives. Too many people cookies. have G-spawned <laughs> on this before, so now trying to grab everything quickly. <clears throat> Everyone's got the nine times. We go onto the beach, right. starting right. out round 121, four players. No we're still... Done.
no doubt sitting in the corner. Yeah, no, Here's a point good. where we get double doored and showing that we're still holding it down. Beast is helping out. Is working on getting everybody's know, lives yeah. and equipment up I'm so that we can go into now. the crawler yeah. arena yeah, all yeah. maxed out. So at the end of 124, last round on the beach here, you can see everybody's armory and lives are all looking pretty good. Almost maxed out. Got a little bit of work yet to do, but we're getting there and we're feeling pretty comfortable that we should have no problem having max equipment going into prison break. Lives are easy to get on prison break as long as you don't have to worry about people running all over the place to grab any more equipment. So we go on to, I think this is actually round 126. You know, we're showing we're still sitting in the corner, holding it down. Uh, we do die occasionally, but we're still doing a pretty good job holding it down, keeping our equipment, not using any equipment, and keeping our lives up. You know, that was the important thing with four players. Feet guy's got to run around so much and uh, has such a hard job that he's got to use all the equipment just to stay alive. So our job is try not to use any but still hold our lives. And this arena and obviously on prison break, we were able to kind of camp and hold it down. But you'll see on the crawler arena, we finally had to come out of our corner. So we've kind of deduced and proven that you can hold it down in a corner with four players up until at least 132. Uh, I'd love to try again sometime and... Uh, you know, Fierce Feet on Fire had a pretty bad two-bar connection. Uh, maybe with a better connection we would have been able to hold it down on the crawler arena, but it was looking pretty rough. Plus, we got some pretty bad pole setups. It might be kind of contingent upon the pole setup that you have, if you can hold it down or not. So, around 132, we're all camping on the corner. We did find it was a little bit harder, so we had to kind of stay in formation. You know, one nice little line with each other so that we could, you know, kill those good lines coming at us. Otherwise, we they're getting so strong and taking so long to die. But you can see, you know, everybody's coming out of there maxed out and going into the crawler arena. We head to the, com the, the corner. We wanted to really attempt it first. We allowed ourselves to die a few times trying to see if maybe we could work it out and get it to work. But... We ended up starting to die too much. You can see we got you know, this tiny little pole set up in the corner with us. Not a whole lot out on the map. And you know, there we go. We start dying. All three of us all at once. We get back in the corner. We try it again. We get to the point where we had to just give up. We're trying to different strategies. Even, you know, instead of the friendship right against the wall, we tried having him kind of in the center of the three. You know, no matter what we were trying, it wasn't really working. So we had to do a strategy where we all basically just kind of corner hop. I think this is the point where we basically say enough's enough. Let's get out of the corner. We're going to have to start moving. So what our plan was is, you know, friendship you know, has the hardest time making points. Fortune can make points quickly when he needs to with vehicles and whatnot. Firepower can obviously get the kills because he's got the death machine. And so we figured out of us three, it's best for friendship to kind of be the sacrificial role. And when needed, you know, I was going to kind of run, train the little small groups while Beast took the majority of them. So here we are, around 136, looking fairly rough. You know, we got me and, and uh, the blue, furious, feet on fire, mercury scopes, whatever you want to call them, starting to steal lives. Getting kind of hammered by the doors here, trying to all move together and sink. Staying alive, getting through the round. Armory's getting fairly low. If we had to go one more round, I don't know, it would have been fairly tough, but we end up making it through. Going on to the next round, getting a little bit of multiplier and starting, to, you know, building things back up. Honestly, I'm, I'm not sure if 160 would have been possible this game. I think it would have been a fight all the way there. You know, we probably would have done whatever we need to do to make sure it happened, but it would have been a struggle. So, round 140, 
you can see Beast and George have rebuilt pretty well. We tried to uh, let the blue guy, Fortune, rebuild next, but his two bar, he just couldn't hold a multiplier. Kept dying from, you know, just bad leg. So you see I got a one times right now. I finally, I about at this point, I finally said, all right, it's my turn now. Mercury scopes couldn't fold onto a multiplier, so I started building one, got a seven times, and now my life's up to, I think, 656, six, it looks like, so starting to get my stuff up. George is still looking pretty good. Beast isn't too bad. Mercury scope is having a little bit of hard time with the lag, especially since we're moving around so much. I think the idea was that, you know, if we the three of us can get our stuff up, we can help him build after us. Um, but when we got into this arena, we basically decided we don't have time to finish the game, so we were going to suicide at 141. And you can see we're basically just messing around right now. Uh, we, we were letting ourselves die. We were using armory, and that's why you're seeing it so low, spinning around with bird flamethrower. Start nuking it. We're going to down ourselves at the end of this round and decided, nah, let's do it on 142, I think. But everybody using up their armory. You'll see everybody kind of kill themselves. Get ready for the suicide. One interesting thing to note is look at the Blues score. Around 142, and he's got 6 million. I think he went to 120, into 120 with a lot less than 5 million. You know, I don't think anyone's ever made it that far with such a low score. He was really going for a low score because, you know, to me, if you can keep your lives up without picking up a lot of gold and getting a multiplier, that kind of says more than getting a really high score. You know, you show that, you know, you don't need the multiplier to keep your lives up. You know, obviously you're not dying very often. If you're just surviving off the free men because the free men that spawn because you're not making very many. So we're all gathered down the bottom corner, getting rid, rid of the last of the lives. The plan is everybody walk into the poles at the same time, we'll all kill ourselves. I think, uh, I think I called it. I said one, two, three. I don't think you can hear me. And then Beast trolls us. He's laughing. Everybody killed themselves. He's the only one left. And then that's when we said, eh, go to the next round. Let's do it on 142. <clears throat> and then, surprise, we get an armory. <laughs> really would have liked to get to 160 this game. I think right now it was probably about 4 o'clock in the afternoon on Sunday, but you know it really wasn't worth it to Beast to try to play for, say, four or five more hours and then get to school late at night and then go to school. He figured, let's just get done. I'll go to school early before it gets dark, get some things done, some homework, because he had class the next day. So four or five hours we wouldn't have been able to get to 160 I think it would have taken us till like two o'clock in the morning and he just didn't want to do that and then drive to school and go to class with just a couple hours of sleep so we all killed ourselves right there but then jo George had like a ghost life so he got to play for a couple extra seconds so there it is thanks for watching see you in the next one <laughs>